Hello everyone, this is Harley from Garden Fell, and today I actually noticed something on my Cercopia that I want to share with everyone. So I was out here today and I was checking the Cercopia and I actually noticed that it has, that the Cercopia has some sort of bud on it. So I highly believe that this bud that I see right here is a flower bud that will eventually turn into fruit on the Cercopia. So let's take a closer look at it. So right here the Cercopia is growing in Punta Gorda zone 10A. And one thing that I'm really blown away by this Cercropia is the fact that it is so drought tolerant. It doesn't need really any water at all. Here, I really give it water like once a week. And it's been really dry here in Punta Gorda. So overall, I'm just really surprised that it's pushing on new growth constantly from the base all the way up. So let's take a closer look at the flower bud. So right here, we have the flower bud of the Cercropia. And as you see, the Cercropia is actually really pointy. They kind of look like two tentacles arising out of the Cercropia. And as you see, along with the flower buds, it's also pushing on a new leaf growth. So overall, I'm just really happy because this Cercropia actually came with fruit on it. I believe a squirrel or birds ate it when I was in Colombia because it was actually ripening up on the tree. But overall, I'm just really excited to see it grow as fast as everyone was saying. Everyone was saying, oh, this Cercropia is gonna like triple in size on you super fast. And it's been true. You know, even with no water and no care, it's just really, you know, been growing like a beast in the ground. As you see, that is actually the latest new leaf that I pushed out. The leaves are actually getting much bigger and bigger since it's been planted. This leaf is just colossal compared to the first ones that, you know, that I had when it was still in the pot. And, you know, that's obvious because that just means the roots are spreading in the ground, you know, and it's able to support, you know, bigger leaves because it has access to more nutrients in the ground. So overall, I'm just really happy to see this acropia, you know, responding really well to the soil and already pushing on new growth. As you know, we're all looking forward to the spring rains that Florida has to bring because this tree, you know, I'm sure will also grow a lot in size and we're gonna let it grow big too because we're gonna get a lot of air layers off of it in the future, you know, to spread around to everyone because I heard this fruit is really good. So hopefully this time around, we'll actually be able to try the fruit from these flowers. Overall, this tree is just a beautiful tree. I really love the leaves. You know, they kind of have that papaya look, very tropical fruit tree. That everyone needs to consider adding to their farm, although it does get very big, but you know, you can also manage this very easily and just prune away at it. So thank you guys so much for watching this Cercropia video update. Once it flowers and hopefully holds fruit, I'll make another video because I want to show you guys the process of the flowering and fruiting and you know how all that goes on the Cercropia. So thank you guys so much again. I hope you have a good day and bye now.